Hi, I'm Daniel Williams, founder of the Medical Mastermind Community. And I hesitate to even turn the camera on this time because I know there's a 95% chance you are not going to do what I'm about to tell you to do. Okay, we're going to talk about what it takes to be successful in medical school. And this applies to life in general, whether you get in or not, whether you change your mind or not. And a few thousand people every year stop their residency training. There are a lot of doctors and wannabe doctors out there that aren't licensed. I want to tell you how to be successful no matter what your background, no matter what your adversity, no matter what. And why are so few people able to overcome even the toughest toughest obstacles because they aren't willing to listen to other people's advice. Human nature says, I got this, I don't need help, so I'm going to stretch out on a limb here and go for that few percentage, that rare person that will actually take advice from someone that's been there and done that. Okay, and believe me, I have. The first step in determining success for you is to identify what does success mean to you. Because success is really setting a goal and then being about actively working towards that goal. You're successful before you ever get there. If not, uh, then, you know, dreams can fall apart when plans change or health issues come up. And you can't say that the medical student in second year medical school is unsuccessful if when they get to their surgery residency, they change their mind and want to do family practice. They're not unsuccessful. I believe you're successful in the journey, in the process. Okay? So the very first thing I'm going to ask you to do, and I'm about to weed out 95% of people right here, because you won't do it. I challenge you to do it, is grab a pen and grab a piece of paper. Okay? And write out your definite major purpose. This is your vision for your life. What do you want it to look like? What is your major goal? What are the steps to get there? Where are you living? I mean, you know, these kind of things can change, but come up with a creative vision for what you want it to look like based on the information that you have right now. What size of a family, if, if you have a family at all in this vision? What, are your, what is your career, your clinical workload look like, etc., etc.? Write this stuff down. That's the very first step. Now that you have a definite major purpose, we have a measuring stick on which to base our success, okay? The very next thing I'm going to put right after that is having a positive mental attitude. Do you realize that no matter what your adversity, your setback, etc., that your positive mental attitude and your determination to overcome and learn from whatever circumstance that is determines more about where you're going to wind up in the future than any, you know, luck or random universal lottery system that you might think life operates on? You know those people that always seem to figure it out to be ahead of the game? Study them and see what characteristics they have. You're going to find they have a definite major purpose. They are persistent. They have a positive mental attitude. That brings me to the next one. That is the third step in being successful in your medical education journey is taking personal initiative. Are you the kind of student that just sits in the class and waits for the teacher to tell them everything and they're not going to go out and buy extra books and try harder and dig and stay up extra and you know go out of their way and form study groups? What kind of student are you? Are you on the fence? How committed are you? you know, and if you used to be that hungry pre-med student, where's your hunger now? Remember, personal initiative will set you apart from the crowd, okay? Particularly as residents. By the time you've made it that far, a lot of us get uh, that sense of entitlement. Entitlement is the enemy in residency. Be grateful to be there. Work hard. Do not stop with your personal initiative, initiative even though you're fatigued as an intern in resident, okay? Napoleon Hill taught 17 universal principles of success, and I've just hit three here. And I'm going to stop there because I know 95% of you watching this video are not even going to do it. So I don't want to waste any more of my time until you prove to me that you really want to do it. Okay? If you want a free lifetime access to the Mastermind community where you get lots and lots of access to recordings and live webinars of success talks like this where we can analyze you know, which success principle you're hung up on and ignorant of, for example, um, then go to medicalmastermindcommunity.com and sign up for my free speed reading course. I'll also send you some USMLE medical MP3s to study as samples from Apollo audiobooks along the way. Again, every month I'll be giving out a free uh, raffle 
for a lifetime membership to the Mastermind community. And in the meantime, I would just ask you to get that pen and paper and begin this journey right now. What are you waiting for? If you don't have the personal initiative to stop this recording right now and get to work, I'm not really sure I can help you in the Mastermind community, and I'm not sure you're ready to do the work, okay? So good luck in your career, and I really hope to see you on the inside.